Namaskar, welcome back to another video. So today I'm back to my single family home where I'm building actually a detached ADU. So finally the ADU construction is done. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour for that ADU. Not this house, I'm pretty sure you saw this house in the previous video. I will put the link somewhere where I gave the details of the project for this property. But we have another home in the back. Yes, a brand new structure that is like two bedroom, one and a half bath. And it's a tiny, it's like 735 square feet. So let's go check out the tour and find out more about that ADU what kind of challenges we face and by the way this property is also like damn cute the front house because it's it's on one lot and it's like 30 by 110 ish lot size so I already had an existing house this was I bought it has is and the previous owner uh, did some beautiful work inside like the washrooms are one of the best one I have seen and kitchen got like nice stainless steel appliances and a clean flooring very high quality work inside like you will see everywhere it's like damn beautiful so that's why I chose to buy this home but build this ADU because that will allow for either me or whoever buying this property they can have live in one house and rent out the other house or live in the back house rent out the front house whichever you like so you will have your low expenses or if you're an investor you can rent both of them and especially for homes like this you can do uh, short-term rentals like Airbnb that can produce you very good returns so Aditya, you've been talking about financial freedom on social media, but why don't you do in-person meetups? That's a question I got many times. So finally, I'm doing an in-person meetup for newbies, savvy, anyone. Click the link in the description for all the details for the date and the venue. Come meet local investors and local trades and learn about Windsor Market. Cannot wait to see you. See you soon. So let's go check out the ADU and find more details. So if you pause it here, I just did a small fence difference between the both the units. So they, they have their own kind of backyard, the front house and this unit have their own kind of a front yard because the house got a front space. So once all the gravel settles down, I'm going to do the concrete. But if you look at the house, like from exterior part, like here, it's all vinyl because, you know, that's more economical, but also more easy to maintain. And the heating system in the house actually is um, heat pumps. So that's that's the you know easiest way because it's a tiny home right one of the biggest challenges to put everything in place so if if i do a furnace and ac that need a duct work that need a space the furnace need a space so that is eating up the square footage because the city has uh, certain calculations they would allow only up to certain square footage based on your lot so the previous owners they got the drawing approved i didn't want to do any amendments so if you're doing if you want to do a adu like this you better check with the city you know they will tell you like what's the maximum square footage you can go on one floor so this one the, the style of the construction is actually a, a raised ranch so if you see the windows here it's like almost the raised so we got the kitchen and half washroom and the living in the basement and upstairs we got two bedrooms and a bathroom so it's a very kind of I personally I love the structure the style because the basement doesn't look like a basement because you have lots of sunlight you'll see it in a second um, but um, you know here the biggest challenge for me outside is to squeeze the parking spot because that's another very big challenge that we came across so thanks to the spot that i have here so this is where we had the parking spot so this they can put two cars one behind the other and also they, they can put another car in the back of the house because there is enough space there for a car so let's go inside and welcome by the way if you're wondering why i dressed up to more indian tradition today because on the day i'm shooting the video it's diwali so happy diwali to all my indian families so let's come here like you have seen as soon as we enter into this house um i chose all light colors because that's one thing a lot of people liking nowadays more brightness into the house so more sunlight it feels more brighter so even the flooring is light the colors are light and everywhere i use the pot lights one of the biggest reason is it will make the space still look taller and also in the lo lower right in the living area and the kitchen also it makes it look higher so from there here we have as soon as we enter we got the washroom full washroom of course stand up shower because again it's a tiny place we want to make use of every space so this one looks nice modern with a glass that's what i wanted i can go with a standard shower but this one makes it look more even nicer so people who live here can enjoy the space and uh, before we see the master bedroom here we got the office room so here's another thing that challenge that city came up with if you see every both the bedrooms have the heat pumps those are the heating and cooling units even though i have those heating and cooling units they still want me to have a baseboard 
that's the electrical this one it runs with the electrical so that is more expensive heating system but whereas the HVAC the heat pumps they're more economical because the bills are almost like you're having a gas heating so there is no gas in this unit and this unit have separate their own uh, water their own hydro if you're an investor you don't have to pay for your tenant bills so this is the bedroom the bedroom office room hashtag whatever you call it it's probably like you know eight by nine so it's okay size perfect for office and if you come in here the master bedroom so I went with a nice big window because I wanted lots of sunlight in the bedroom and uh, got the heat pump. So like I mentioned, both the bedrooms got their own heating system. They can control, if you see here, every bedroom, they can control their own heating and cooling. So that way you're using the office room, you wanna be a little bit warmer or you're in the bedroom, you wanna be a little bit cooler, you can choose that. So that's a cool feature with the heat pumps and flooring is all vinyl. I used complete vinyl throughout the house, including the lower and upper. So the master bedroom, this is the master bedroom pretty much. The size, like the bed I have here, the staging, um, it's a queen bed. So you still have decent space. If you see like two lights and the closet is decent size with some shelves in there. So it's perfect for a couple or a retired couple or a small family. Like even with one kid, they can use that as a kid's bedroom. And this one as a master bedroom. And let's go see the main, my favorite part in this house is the kitchenette because that actually turned out way better than I thought. So another biggest challenge was squeezing this half washroom because I really fought with my builder. He was like, there's no space, bro. I have to put the laundry. I have to put the, the sump pump in the hot water tank. And I asked him to make sure I must want this half washroom because you know, you'll be watching TV or drinking in the, on Friday night. You don't want to go up. You just want to relax. You just want to damn be here. So that's why uh, I got this washroom. And again, I didn't try to cheap out. I went with a granite countertop and nice light fixtures, nice mirror, you know, that goes well. Um, and it's a flooring is nice, good quality vinyl. So so nowhere I try to cheap out and if you come here before I show you the kitchen I want to just rotate here and we check here you see the space that I squeezed in the uh, laundry so it's nicely sitting in one corner uh, and a nice quality brand new washer and dryer and we got this small closet kind of thing but it's actually the hydro panel and of course standard 100 amps so I didn't make any changes there I went with the standard one and if we get to the beautiful part and this is the beauty uh, nice granite countertops stainless steel appliances I must wanted the exhaust with the range hood because you know that's another good feature a lot of people like nowadays and I don't want the homeowner or the tenant who are buying this property they don't want to feel like oh I don't have the range hood I have to do that work what do you think so far if you if you're liking this so uh, tour so far let me know in the comments below like or downs whatever and the cabinets again double sink i wanted that because most of the tenants that i have they love to have two sinks um, and nice subway styles if you see here um, try to go with a get that brand new modern look so also like this glass door something just to give them a little bit more luxury touch. That's what uh, I chose to and went with another window here, even though we have another big window there because kitchenette, it's good to have some more sunlight because it's a lower level, but it doesn't even feel like a lower level personally. And here's the cool part. Look, if you just turn yourself, like it's a damn good space. Like five people can hang out, can watch a TV and you still have enough room and your kitchen is right there. So it's tiny home, but not so tiny. And the height, if you see, notice here, it's actually eight feet tall. And because we don't have any duct work that much, it's nice, bright, open. And if you come in here just inside, so this is where all our ventilation system is in here and the hot water tank is in here and the sump up is here, all the plumbing is in here. So, and then closed, clean. This is how I, I was able to squeeze in this legal uh, ADU. So, just to summarize, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, I enjoyed the process of building this because it um, one of the biggest challenge here was the timeline. Uh, I started this one last year, December, and it now we are in October. So the construction almost completed a month ago. Um, to get the final occupancy permit, it took me like almost 10 months because one of the reason is it's so tiny space. Um, and also at that time when we started the construction, December was already winter time. So the foundation took some time and, and you know, almost we started 
started with a full force construction in summer and once we started with this little tiny things to move around and having the labor to come in on time and all those things took some challenges because it's my first new construction of building a tiny home and by the way for now i'm putting up this property for sale if you're someone interested in this property if you want to know more details um dm me or like you know send me an email um give us a call i'll put the uh, contact info in the description because you know i just want to see what i can get on this one and maybe someone can enjoy this because i have a, another big project that is going on if you haven't seen my video tour where i'm doing a half is hack i'm building like redoing the whole building so there i need some more funds so i thought i'll sell this one see if i can get some profit out of it so i can you know focus on my big project yeah with that that's pretty much it any questions that i haven't covered in this video let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the tour make sure hit that thumbs up button and subscribe okay see you later